Yo, what's going on everybody? It's our Pod King Carter here, the super mini YouTube. And today I'm here to talk to you guys about NBA 2K14 Community Team Up. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did take a trip out to San Francisco and then Novato. And um, we went to the 2K headquarters, played NBA 2K14, and spoke about all the things that needed to be fixed from NBA 2K13 and so on and so forth with all our needs from the community. Now, uh, if you guys didn't know as well, I'm back home, so, you know, um, that's over and done with. Um, but before I want to talk about what it is that I need to speak on, I just want to get one thing out the way. Um, as it goes, I am a gamer just like you guys. I'm nobody special. I'm not famous. Um, I do not have my own sitcom on TV. I do, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a singer. Um, I'm just a, another gamer just like you guys with, you know, the luck of the cards, I guess you can say. I was able to go play NBA 2K14, you know, get my hands on it and see what it's all about. Now, uh, it's been a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but, you know, a few weary fans out there that have been lashing out at me, asking me for info, you know, telling me they're going to hurt my children and all that crazy rah-rah nonsense. Look, first of all, you're not gonna do none of that. You, you know what I'm saying? Just, just keep your keep yourself in a you know you know that little corner that you in, and chill out. Um, as it goes, people don't know what a NDA is. Um, it's a non-disclosure agreement. It's gonna be a link in the description. You know, entitling the definition of that. Um, that is what I and all the other members that went to NBA 2K14 team up are under. We are under non-disclosure agreements. We are not able to speak on anything that we saw at NBA 2K14 team up. I mean, not one thing, but I can tell you a few things. Now, before I get into that, I also want to tell you that out of everything that we've saw, I've written down notes, I've made videos, and they are in storage, which means once the non-disclosure agreement has, you know, been lifted and embargo and all of that, we will be able to release these videos to you guys. We will be able to tell you what we saw and what we got from it. So now that that's over, um, I guess that's, you know, to be determined or to be announced as it may go, because um, we don't even know when it will be lifted. Um, I guess 2K Sports is, you know, holding our balls by the vice grip, I guess you can say. Now, uh, moving on. I can tell you a few things that I experienced from NBA 2K14 team up. For the new members that came out, you know, QJB, Shake and Bake, YMD, and Sub the Gamer, stand up guys. Straight up and down, stand up guys. Um, as it goes for Shakedown 2012 and K Spade, they already know how we get down. We veterans, as you can say, you know, last year we were more like fanboys that, you know, wanted to see a little bit more, but this year, we were guys that came in there with pens, pads, notes, I mean, straight up Microsoft Word, you know, papers full of, you know, problems that we want to see fixed. And, you know, a couple wishes from, you know, our all respected wish lists. And uh, the devs, we actually sat down with the devs and spoke to them for hours. You know, it wasn't just a quick hi, you know, how you doing? Uh, you know, I'm me, you're you, and... You know, thanks for, you know, making this game. Peace out. We actually sat down, you know, got to the bottom of things. And, you know, we, we, we tried our best. So, uh, as it goes for that, you know, next thing I want to tell you guys is that NBA 2K14 Next Gen. Here it goes. This, this, this is the clicker right here. We did not get to play NBA 2K14 on any Next Gen console. So, as it goes, don't ask us about PS4, don't ask us about Xbox One. We did not play NBA 2K14 Next Gen on any console of that generation. Now, I guess you could say that I can give you a reason behind that, but I guess you might be able to understand. Uh, NBA 2K14 is going to come out on current gen and next gen. Both next-gen consoles do not have a release date, which means 2K Sports, 2K Games, NBA 2K, the devs, Ronnie, the marketing team, the staff, they cannot show us 
next gen footage gameplay the game because they do not have the release date for the next gen consoles which means you know they're still working on that and they can't show us because you know we just we i guess we ain't cool enough <laughs> but you know we did not get to see that um another thing the food out there is spectacular <laughs> i will say that the the food was spectacular um another thing that i can tell you guys and and, and this is this is very very important the devs the presentation team you know the the people that work on the defense everything they listen to everybody you guys think that you know when you're sending out these death threats and hate mail and all of this stuff that they don't see it now of course the dev team may not be as popular as ronnie 2k on twitter but trust me they see all the same stuff that we see you know when people were tweeting me about stuff you know during the team up i was showing the dev team my phone like yo they getting at me like they're ready to kill me over stuff y'all better do something about this man nba 2k14 better be all that so you know i will say that about that now uh next thing hashtag the bus we gonna get into that a little bit later but um i will say this chris manning ld2k like, I really got to give my hat off to this boy because this is only the second year that 2K has done this. You know, and, and what makes it so great about this year, we came out so early that the press hasn't even seen NBA 2K14. No press. I mean, you know, guys from, you know, Operation Sports, got, um, you know, Mr. Pasta Padre himself, um, Kotaku, you know, like any any news media outlet has not seen NBA 2K14 at all. So I think that's another reason why we can't speak on what we saw. That's how hush hush it is. Now, if any of you guys follow me, if you seen me last year, you know that last year we were tweeting out, you know, talking about the gameplay and all that crazy stuff. But this year, they didn't release anything, so we can't even speak on it. You feel me? So, you know, I guess it is what it is. But, you know, before I get up out of here, I just want to say one last thing. Go inside the description. It's a link that asks, what type of NBA 2K series gamer do you consider yourself? Now, there are only two options, a casual gamer or a hardcore gamer. You know what I'm saying? This is something that I was thinking about while I was down at 2K Team Up because it's a lot of people, you know, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube that like to voice their opinion. So what I want to find out is what category do you slip into when it comes to NBA 2K? Don't just put hardcore gamer just because you think you know you will you the top of the line I want you to actually read the definition before you make your choice I want to know what type of gamer that I'm dealing with when you know you guys ask me questions And even if you want to hit me up on Twitter and actually, you know tweet hardcore or tweet casual I'll get your tweet and I'll understand you know where you coming from. So I'm gonna say it again Go inside the description, click the first link you see. It's going to say, what type of gamer for NBA 2K series do you consider yourself to be? And all you got to do is click it and answer. But, um, you know, like I said, you know, Job Turkey be having me cracking up. But links will be in the description. Peace. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do it. <laughs> Nah, man, I'm done. I'm done. You know, I've, I've talked your head off enough. But uh, also, for the people that just skipped to the end of this video, um, hashtag the bus. Basically, what happened was we caught a flat after, you know, this 20-year-old driver of this uh, little mini bus. She went through a toll booth and jumped the curb. I mean, sparks was flying. The uh, Not the rear view mirror, but the side mirror. One of them joints cracked almost came off um luckily we were still able to drive to the airport because it had two tires you know that's how some buses are you know you got two tires in the back so you know we was riding on one flat and one inflated so it was, it was hilarious but yo my life flashed before my eyes because it made it so crazy 
I felt suspended in air for like 20 minutes, but it only lasted for like point something seconds. Like it was crazy. When Shake and Bake looked at my face, he was like, Apa, you all right? I couldn't, I couldn't say a word. Nothing, nothing was coming out my mouth because what made it so bad, like we were on a Golden Gate Bridge. Like I was like, exactly. But I'm getting up out of here. I took up too much of you guys' time. This is IKC signing out. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.